You have got to be kidding me. All right, everybody. Well, you can see that we spent most of the day yesterday uh, cleaning up the garage, getting everything organized. But what we found was that we have a little visitor in here. Uh, I think it's a field mouse. I've seen some telltale evidence of uh, what they're leaving behind. Don't know how many there are, but uh, I chewed one of my backpacks. They have chewed like a rubber ball. They've, I can see where they've been running around. Uh, I think they're back in this pile here that we haven't gotten to yet, but we will get to that uh, in just, I don't know, a day or two. But uh, yeah, so I don't think it'll be a big deal. Um, I think if I can get it, I, I haven't had the garage doors sealed properly on the bottom, so I think that's how that they're getting in. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do uh, is work on getting the bottom of the garage door sealed. Um, that way uh, they can't get in. Uh, I guess that's just part of living in the, in the woods, I guess. Okay, well I guess it's story time. There's no video on this, only pictures, so try to follow along. It all started with a pack of crackers and a window that was left rolled down. Ah! All right, now I'm ticked off. This is what happens when you leave the windows down overnight. This is especially what happens when you leave the windows down overnight and you leave a pack of cheese crackers in your glove box. I'll get it fixed. So I went looking for this little guy and I noticed that there was some packaging that was disturbed. It didn't look normal. So I kind of went through, and as I opened the box slowly, this is what I found. Only there was a little rat in there. And he jumped out, and he kicked me in the face. Yes, he ninja kicked me in the side of the nose. And to prove it, I have my doorbell video camera to show you. Pay attention. Let me slow it down and zoom in a little bit. Once again, slower and more zoomed in. Yeah, that was me doing a somersault after that rat jumped on my chest and kicked me in the side of the nose. So, I'm obviously looking for him, but I also hurt my elbow really bad. So, let's see how I fix this problem. All right, well, um, I found out where that little jerk lived. Um, he definitely isn't a field mouse. He's a rat, and I didn't see any more, but um, I did get judo kicked in the face by this rat, and... I think he's actually Mighty Mouse because he did kick me on the side of the nose. He actually ran up my chest, kicked me in the side of the nose, and sprung off and ran out the door. So I think he's gone. But because I don't want him coming back, um, I'm going to have to address how he got in, which I think is at the corner of the garage doors. So, um, I'm going to fix that. Probably not going to show you because it's, it's kind of hard to see. I'll show you afterwards. Uh, but another thing uh, that I am doing, uh, and I did, was I overnighted a product uh, from Seattle. It's called Mighty Mint Rodent Repellent. <laughs> and uh, all natural. Uh, it looks like it's just like... Uh, peppermint oil and water, a little bit of glycerin, but it smells awesome. Like, 
I love it because it's like, it smells like Christmas in my garage, everywhere. And I've been spraying the heck out of it. So I even sprayed the outside, which it probably won't last, but it made me feel good to do so. And the other thing that I've done is I've picked up this little contraption on Amazon, which is called the Dizzy Dunker. It goes on a five gallon, either Home Depot bucket or old paint five gallon bucket or whatever. And uh, they're evidently supposed to fall in it. I don't like those sticky traps because it kind of sad they're kind of like torturing them of course i don't know this rat that kicked me in the face i don't know i might want to torture him but i'm not i'm going to use mighty mini rodent repellent and the dizzy dunker and let's see if we can get this guy taken care of okay the problem was that they were getting in under the corners of the garage door so i blocked them off on all three of the garage doors as you can see there we've done it on each side like this so I think we are gonna be really really good um, you know I did do something else that I'm really excited about I love this stuff Alright, you guys saw what it did to Jana's car. I really hate this rat. Um, uh, I am uh, going to spray uh, all on the inside of her engine bay too. Uh, I, I found evidence of him running around on the inside of her engine and kind of chewing on some little foam pieces in here. Um, so. Uh, I've done some research and I have uh, read it's going to be perfectly safe. I'm not going to spray the electrical components, um, but we're just going to try to keep them out of here. Uh, this car didn't get driven a whole bunch, so, um, you know, he probably came in over the colder months and jumped in there because he was warm after uh, driving it. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get busy spraying this. Yeah, I can I can see where he was right there. Looks like he was trying to build a little nest back in there. At least it smells good. All right, guys, so I got to tell you, we got the car back as good as new. And Jana got a padded center console. It looks great. And I think she's really, really happy. All right, guys, I'm going to call this chapter close. Uh, we have not seen that little guy anywhere around here. Uh, Everything is sealed up in the garage and uh, wish us luck we don't have any more rat problems.